Hey guys, this is Andrew here. What is going on? I know that it's not completely dark outside as there's still plenty of daylight, but I just wanted to uh, um, make a Lego extravaganza for May 2024 with the lights on around the whole city and I gotta make sure to do the same for some of my select vehicles but we'll get to doing that eventually but you probably have seen uh, at least one of these uh, lego videos that i post at the start of each and every month but if not i'll go ahead and clarify them for you i walk around my lego city updating some of the things that have changed and then after that i Power on the cargo train, let it do a couple laps around my city, and then talk about some important announcements that could possibly happen this month. Or the one after. So let's go ahead and get started. So starting at the south area of the city, I was able to pick up my first uh, LEGO Jurassic Park set. Um, there's a good reason why I am uh, saying this, as I'll explain that in the announcements. And also, Set Set came out to be incomplete whenever I um, put everything together. Man, I'm starting to get unlucky with incomplete LEGO sets that are brand new. After a major dominance of... Um, Building everything that's been brand new. It's the second time it's happened to me in such a small time. Hmm. Well, I finally got the chance to make a Lego LED Railroad Crossing video. And it sounds like a biased take, but I've made more... Lego LED Railroad Crossing videos than Michael Hickox has made for pizza delivery videos, but let's not curse the commentator. Or speak too soon. Uh, proceeding forward. Just doing my best to update the traffic lights as ever. Wanting to make the conversion from white LEDs to actual color LEDs. All that other fun stuff. We got 3677 pulling one carload of rock, metal, and glass. So that'll be fun to watch. Whether it's going slow or fast. Uh, not much else has changed on the north part of the city. Looking good in the lights and whatnot. Make sure to turn this guy on. If I can find a way on where the on switch goes. There we go. Let's see, 60,082 dune buggy loader. And also the 60283 holiday camper van. Those of which um, uh, have um, LED upgrades. And the same thing applies to the city bus from the 60026 Town Square. And so, yeah. Uh, nothing new with the emergency vehicles. Nothing new with the police station or the fire station. 
Well, let's operate a cargo train. Can't go wrong with a couple laps. And so, just like before, I'm going to run 3677, a couple laps around the city, and then talk about some things that could happen this month or the one after. Yeah, that was too slow. Let's speed it up.
Okay, new battery. So now that the cargo train has pulled into the yard, the rock, metal, and glass can be delivered to its customers, or maybe customer because of how there's only one carload and such. But now I'm going to explain some of the important announcements. So this Jurassic Park set that I picked up, I bought it to at breakfast over in Landover and um, it's been the um it's been a long time since I've been to a breakfast um, ever since uh, I was little and my thoughts on the breakfast event that I attended last Saturday well it was not terrible but not great either because there are a lot of activities that were targeted for younger audiences and less for more of the adults like me. Um, but it was an okay event nonetheless. So, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think. Um, there was going to be a Memorial Weekend getaway to North Carolina on Memorial Day weekend. Uh, however, that's not going to happen as um, plans had been altered. And so I'm gonna see if uh, my family and I will spend the 4th of July, 4th of July weekend down in North Carolina, presumably in Albemarle or in conjunction also with Raleigh, but we'll see when that time comes. And on June 1st, Saturday, June 1, is going to be the Manassas Railway Festival. I may or may not attend that because, um, uh, well, due to my Invisalign treatment, I would have to uh, clean my teeth. Uh, after each and every meal. Like, I'm just uh, uh, spitting out random stuff over whether I'm going to attend the festival or not. Because I don't wear a fan uh, much that often, because, or with my uh, Invisalign trays in, I always have to clean my teeth after each and every meal. Um, but, Outside of that, there's one more announcement that I think everybody should realize for what you see in the title. Um, sometime at the end of May and at the start of June, I will be getting my very first apartment. Yeah, literally, an actual apartment. Yeah, that sounds scary at first, but, you know, that's gotta happen, and adults my age tend to move on from their parents. You know, they find a, a place that they uh, like of their interest, you know, closer to work, away from their uh, parents. I know my parents had the... Uh, same deal whenever they moved away from their parents. Hmm. So, for this apartment that uh, I'm going to be moving into, I'm not going to say where it is, but all I know is that it's an apartment in uh, Germantown. Like, I can always say the city of where it's going to be, but I'm not going to give away any more details. I will keep the rest as a secret. So I know it sucks that I have to take everything off of my Lego table, you know, the minifigures, the cars, have to dismantle the buildings, unscrew the Lego table, and find a way to get it all 
into this one apartment, whether it's going to go in the dining room or maybe the living room, whatnot. All you gotta do is play it out with how this apartment's going to work out for my Legos. Uh, maybe I will find a way to uh, maybe preserve more Legos or preserve a less amount of Legos. Maybe find some way to fit all 70 of these Lego sets in this one apartment, let alone fit them all on this one table. And I know some guys say that it can be done, you know, but as long as I play by the square footage for what this apartment will be and decide how many Legos I'm going to put up, we'll see when that time comes. Well, anyway, in case if this is the last Lego extravaganza, I hope you enjoyed this series. I hope you enjoyed all 36 of my monthly Lego content. And I guess I'll see you in the next one where we're going to preserve more Legos or preserve a less amount of Legos. And I will still keep my love for Legos and all Lego enthusiasts out there. Anyway, that shall be it for me. Hope you enjoyed this series. And I'll see you next time.